Hello everyone. In this topic, I am focusing on density, mass, and volume. I know this is very basic to us, but some people may have forgotten already its essence and importance, especially to those who are working on board oil tanker vessels. As you know, in oil tanker ships, the chief officer is in charge with cargo loading and discharge operation. And it is very usual for him or her to calculate the density, weight or mass, and the volume of liquid cargos. In order to understand these very basic principles, I have prepared this video so that this might help mariners or anybody in whatever field interested to learn the same. To start with, let us first know the meaning of density, mass, and volume. Density is the mass of substance per unit volume. So, this stands for density, M stands for mass or weight, and V stands for volume. The formula for density is mass over volume. Example, find the density of a liquid weighing 1,000 kilograms with a volume of 1 cubic meter. So the given here is mass equals to 1,000 kilograms and the volume is 1 cubic meter. So we are going to look for the density. So the answer here is D equals mass over volume. Density equals mass over volume. So D equals 1,000 kilograms divide 1 cubic meter. So D equals 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Meaning density equals 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So if the box drawn above is 1 meter in length, 1 meter wide and 1 meter height having full of liquid inside with a weight of 1,000 kilograms, then the density of that liquid is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. Since it is inside the 1 cubic meter box tank. In other words, we can also say that density is the weight of liquid or substance inside a cubic meter box tank. To say further, the density therefore vary or change depending on the weight of a substance inside a cubic meter box tank. Another example of density. Find the density of liquid weighing 500 kilograms inside a cubic meter box tank. So the given is mass equals 500 kilograms, volume 1 cubic meter, and we are going to look for density. So the formula for density, as we said before, D equals mass over volume. So, density equals 500 kilograms divide 1 cubic meter. So, density is 500 kilograms per cubic meter. Okay, guys. We now go to mass. So, first, we have to understand what is the mass means. Mass 
is the density of a substance multiplied by its volume. Therefore, mass equals density times volume. So, M stands for mass. W stands for weight. V stands for volume. So, example. Find the mass of a liquid or substance having a density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter inside a cubic meter box tank. So, we have density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. And we have the volume of 1 cubic meter. So, we are going to look for the mass. So, mass is equals to density times volume. Okay? So, mass equals 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter times 1 cubic meter. So, we will cross out this cubic meter. Okay? We will cross this out and we will get the mass equals to 1,000 kilograms. Okay, guys? Another example. Find the mass of a liquid having a density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter inside a 2 cubic meter box tank. Okay? So, the density here is 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. The volume is 2 cubic meter. So, we are going to look for the mass. So, as you know, the formula for mass is equals to density times volume. So, mass is equals to 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter times 2 cubic meter we will cross out the cubic meters and we will get the mass of 2,000 kilograms. Okay, guys. Therefore, we can say that mass is the density of a liquid or substance multiplied, multiplied by its surrounding volume. Okay, guys. Now we go to volume. Volume is equal to mass over density. Volume is equal to mass over density. So V is equal to mass divide density. Example, find the volume of liquid or substance having a mass of 1,000 kilograms and density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So, we have the mass of 1,000 kilograms and we have also the density of 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. So, we are going to look for the volume. So, volume is equal to mass Divide density. So, volume equals 1,000 kilograms. Divide 1,000 kilograms per cubic meter. We will cross out the kilograms. And we will get the volume is equals to 1 cubic meter. So, I hope guys, I have clearly explained the basic principles of mass, density, and volume. I hope further in this very little thing I have shared to you my ideas about mass, density, and volume. In my next video, I will discuss some basic computation about liquid cargos and there you will notice why I first discussed the importance of mass, density, and volume. Bye for now and see you again next time.